Hey folks, it's Chris with LG Squared, architect of the Atlanta Craftsman Passive House. And we still don't have our overhangs. We still don't have windows, but obviously we are working on those windows and we're gonna have some of those installed soon. And we're also gonna install our rafter tails, but let's do a quick tour of our building assemblies. We're gonna start with our slab on grade. Slab is, uh, you see right there, that white membrane is the waterproofing at the edge of the slab. So we'll start with the soil. The soil is 98 to 99% compacted fill. And then we put an eight inch layer of gravel on top of that. That gravel is contained by this brick or this concrete footer that's gonna support our brick water table. It's physically separate from the slab. So they're two different structures and no thermal bridging happening between them. But the eight inches slab is sitting on top of a vapor and radon barrier that's on top of two inches of rigid stonewall insulation throughout the entire slab. Then um, under, the, under the insulation is a filter fabric on top of the eight inches of gravel, which is our capillary break. The walls are two by six at 24 inches on center. They're gonna be filled with blown in stonewall insulation. On the outside, we have a layer of half inch CDX plywood, and then that's covered with a liquid applied water resistive barrier, WRB, house wrap, and the blue, that's what that is. That is a three part system by Polyguard called Blue Barrier. And then we're gonna do two inches of stonewall on most of the wall everywhere, continuous, except for the first 20 inches here, starting at the bottom, starting where the insulation is on the slab. We're gonna connect a four inch layer up to go 20 inches to protect the slab edge because concrete and steel are the most thermally conductive materials that we build with. We're gonna transition from that four inch to two inch all the way up to the roof, attach that insulation with one by fours uh, aligned with the studs and then attach our cladding to the one by fours. The roof, very similar to the wall. It's just taking the wall assembly and rotating it to be sloped and that's gonna be two by tens filled with stonewall insulation, half inch CDX, and then a roof underlayment. That's a vapor open roof underlayment from Benjamin Obdike. It's called Vapor Dry. And then we'll have our four inches of insulation on top of that. It's rigid stonewall insulation, same as we're using on the walls. And then we'll have two by fours at a 45 degree angle attached through the insulation into the roof framing. And then we'll attach our roof roofing on top of the two by fours. That is a three minute tour of the assemblies at the Atlanta Craftsman Passive House. This is Chris with LG Squared. Bye for now.